Hi guys, it's Mrs. Zimmerman. I wanted to make a video to show you how to set up your interactive notebook in case you were not here in class. So this is your cover. You want to make sure that you include your name, the room that we're in, and the period along with the year. You are more than welcome to put a bunch of pictures on the cover and decorate it as um, beautiful as you want to. Mine's kind of simple, but you can decorate however you want to. When you open up your notebook, uh, inside should be taped your lab safety rules and you should make sure that you have that signed uh, this will be easily accessible and make sure that you know when you sign it you understand that if you do not follow those rules then disciplinary action will be taken I have some extra pages in here you probably won't have those in yours I'm gonna end up taking those out but the very first page should be your table of contents um, you're going to cut this out and glue that down and there will be several pages worth of table of contents. We are probably going to end up filling this up and we might need to make a one for second semester, but this is our first semester one. Now anytime that we fill something out in our notebook, it needs to go onto the table of contents page. Uh, it's numbered here for you, so all of the even pages are going to be on the left hand side and all of the odd numbers are going to be on the right hand side. The left side of our notebooks are for uh, output, so practice reviews, homework problems, things that you guys will be doing. And then the right side is going to be for things that we're doing in class um, or the input, so notes, foldables, vocabulary words, things along those lines. So you want to have all of those glued in. And then the very next page is going to be the syllabus. You're going to glue that in there. You need to make sure that you have your name on there, your parent's signature, and your parent email. Make sure you know your parent, let your parents know that I will be sending out weekly emails of things that are going on in class. And that should be page number one. Page number two uh, is about the left page assignment choices that we will have for the year. You need to make sure that that is glued down there and that you highlight uh, the top three choices that you want for the semester or for the year. Page three is background information about interactive notebooks, what should be on the left hand side, what should be on the right hand side, um, things along those lines. All right, page four and page five are about how to take Cornell notes which is how you guys will be taking your notes this year. We will be doing this page together in class, showing you how to, how to set them up, how to highlight, how to ask questions, and how to write your summary. You will be given an article in class to read for homework and do an example practice Cornell note taking that we will go over in class. The next page, six and seven, are about formal lab reports. This is how your formal lab reports will be set up. Uh, we will do some of them in our notebooks and some of them we will type out. And on the sixth page, you should have glued uh, a poorly written formal lab and we will be analyzing that and correcting it and fixing mistakes. And then the last thing you should have, page eight, is the cover page for our first unit, which is experimental design and the scientific method. Cover pages should be nice and colorful. They should have words and pictures dealing with what we will be covering in that unit. And then you wanna make sure that you have made a 